Hey YouTube, welcome to Ending Call 007 Productions. And uh, as you know that I had done an unboxing video of the Samsung Galaxy Note in GT N7000. So I have decided to follow up the unboxing with a quick benchmark video. So here is the Samsung Galaxy Note that I shall be benchmarking today. And the three softwares that I shall be using are um, the Antutu benchmark, the Quadrant standards and Nanomark 2. So firstly let me go ahead and end all application and clear all the memory. So once that's done I'll go ahead into our first benchmark which is the quadrant standard. So I'll put the phone down and run the benchmarks. So as you can see the Galaxy Note is flying through quadrant standards like a piece of cake. And to talk about the Exynos processor in this thing, it's a 1.4 GHz Exynos processor from Samsung, which is specially designed for their devices or optimized for their devices like the Samsung Galaxy S2 and the Samsung Galaxy Note. So Samsung did a really good job with the Exynos processor, and it was uh, the year it was released. It was a it was a processor way ahead of its time, and till today it's been outperforming most of the processor out there in the market so it looks like our uh, benchmark is complete so let's go ahead and see what our scores are okay to tell you about the scores I have got a score of 3,447 3, so to zoom in and show you guys the score there you can see 3,437 so it's not the best of scores but on this phone I've got scores ranging all the way from 3400 as you can see and I'm going all the way to 4300 so I'll just run it once more to show you that uh, the scores uh, I'll just give you an idea of what the scores uh, I can get on this device and coming back to the processor, the processor on this device makes me feel like I really don't need a quad-core processor in, the, in my smartphone yet. And, and it just zips through all the tasks that I need to do, whether it's playing 1080p videos, whether it's viewing flash content, whether it's web browsing or anything. And to an extent, I've even been using it uh, to video render a bit, to cut short some clips uh, and etc. Uh, it has a built-in uh, video editor so I used that and it was pretty capable uh, of course nothing compared to the desktop ones but still it did give you some uh, usability so let's see what our score here is if this will focus yes 3000 um, 3439 um, it's not the best of scores that I'm getting right now but Trust me, I have got uh, scores of over 4,000 on this device. So, uh, moving on to our last benchmark, uh, and second benchmark, uh, I'll be doing is anti 2 benchmark. So, as you can see, my previous score is shown there, which is about 6,381, but I'll run it again just to show you. So I'll go ahead to test and I'll start test. And there you can see it's doing its testing. Now um, I'll talk to you about this device a bit. Um, this device, as I had said before, comes with the Exynos processor from Samsung, which is specially built for this device. Uh, this and the Galaxy S2, uh, its younger brother, I would say. And this here, we can say, is the blown up version of the Samsung Galaxy S2 with a 5.3 inch Super AMOLED HD screen with a 1.4 GHz Exynos chipset uh, with a gig of RAM, 8 megapixel camera, uh, 2 megapixel front facing camera. It's a really good phone I would say. It's it's not a phone actually, it's a phablet I would say. It's between a tablet and a phone but to me it really uh, it really does a good job of a good smartphone. Uh, I have been facing no problems using it uh, every day uh, and people would say that mm, they have issues carrying it around and it's too big for their pockets and stuff but uh, I am actually 16 years old but I don't really find uh, a problem using it my hands are not as big as uh, the adult 
how big an adult's hands would be full-size adults but I don't really find it difficult uh, to use the device of course it's not a one-handed device that's for sure but uh, I don't find it difficult and the screen the 5.3 inch HD screen keeps you so engrossed in the clarity and the crispness that you really never get a chance to complain about uh, the phone being oversized of course you m you will get uh, a feeling that you're carrying something in your pocket but uh, I would say the benefits of having this phone uh, the benefits of this are are just uh, outweigh the disadvantages the main, only main disadvantage I see with this phone is carrying it in your pocket and usability but uh, if you can do away with that I would say this is a really really good phone I would say I would prefer this phone over the HTC One X or the Samsung Galaxy S3 which was announced yesterday mainly because um, the, I'd really hated the d design of the Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, it was a really ugly phone this here looks a pretty decent phone not the best out there but it looks good it's uh, bigger than the screen and it performs really well so I would say invest in this phone uh, as oh, uh, that, but that's just my opinion. Uh, it really depends. So as you can see, we're almost uh, done with our Antutu benchmark here, and we'll just uh, wait for it to finish testing the SD card and speed reads. Um, what else I would say about this phone is uh, okay. So the scores are here looks like our score score is 6435 I'll just zoom in a bit there you can see um, it's got 1000 oh sorry it's got 6435 overall score about 1033 on the RAM and there you can see the various other results so uh, if you want to see the rankings of this phone I'll just go ahead and sh show you okay sorry about that it's submitting scores and here it shows some of the top devices here we got some score of about 6000 so uh, it's not in not uh, even in the top in the list of smartphones there but I would say the benchmarks are uh, not really anything to consider while uh, and th you can just consider the their the benchmark scores but I would say never totally judge of smartphone only by the benchmarks you actually have to use it and see how it works in everyday life to actually uh, go ahead and buy a phone uh, so lastly I'll run the Antutu benchmark which is the, the GPU benchmark so I'll go ahead and run it now one thing that I have noticed is the Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, is constantly outperforming the Samsung Galaxy Note in the graphics benchmarks so the main reason for this is the pixels uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S2 is only uh, I think it's 800 by 480 with a pixel density of 217 pixels per inch which is not that great but this here has a resolution of 1280 by 720 which is actually an HD resolution so that is why uh, uh, this uh, phone usually is seen below the Galaxy S2 in the benchmark scores. There you can see uh, it has finished the benchmarks and I have got a frame rate of 39.8 frames per second with the Mali 400 uh, GPU which is a quad core GPU. So with that I would wrap up my benchmark scores of the Samsung Galaxy Note and I'll end up by saying it's a great phone and uh, you actually have to use this phone to actually see how good it is so thank you guys for watching and if you like this video please rate comment for any suggestions or queries and subscribe subscribe for more such videos and in the next video I shall be covering um, a full review of this phone and then I also shall be doing a size review so stay tuned guys thanks for watching